math and science. In this video I'd like to talk about subtracting mixed numbers that have unlike denominators. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with number two because I think it's a little bit easier than number one. We have seven and five twelfths minus two and one half. Okay, first thing I like to do is rewrite it into a vertical fashion because I can see it. You do not need to do this. I just think it's a little more visually appealing. Okay, so now I always begin when you have mixed numbers by subtracting the fractions, but we have a problem here because we do not, we have unlike denominators. So we need to find a common denominator. What I like to do is I like to take my largest number and write its multiples out, 12, 24, 36, and I'll go ahead and stop there. And then I write out multiples for the smaller number until I match the smallest number here. So I'll go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and see they match 12 and 12. So I know that's the common denominator. Okay. So what I do next is I uh, 12 goes into 12 one time. So I'm going to multiply this by 1 and 5 by 1 because what you do to the top, the bottom, you need to do to the top. So this becomes 5 twelfths minus and 2 goes into 12 6 times, so I'll go 2 times 6 and 1 times 6, so that becomes 6 twelfths. Okay, so now I have 7 and 5 twelfths minus 2 and 6 twelfths. But I have another challenge. The 5 is smaller than the 6, so what should I do? Well, I can borrow a 1 from this 7, so the 7 becomes a 6 and I'm going to add 1 to 5 twelfths. And the way I'm going to add 1 is I'm going to take the denominator and place it over itself. So 12 over 12 because 12 over 12 is 1. And then I simply add 5 plus 7, excuse me, 5 plus 12, sorry, and that it becomes 17 over 12 minus 6 over 12. Okay, so now I can just subtract that. 17 minus 6 is 11 twelfths. And then 6 minus 2 is 4. And so it becomes 4 and 11 twelfths because I cannot simplify this fraction anymore. Okay, not bad. Now let's try, uh, let me do one that's a little bit different than that. And let me try number 7. Okay, I'm going to move this up, and I chose 7 just to show you something. Okay, I'm going to pick up the pace just a little bit. I'm going to rewrite it. 14 and 4 tenths, whoops, minus 13 and 1 third. Again, I start with my fractions, and we do not have a common denominator, so I need to find it. I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, because multiply my largest number, and then I'm going to do the, the smallest number and see if I can't match one of these. And I, I know it goes 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 3, 6, 9, 12, 21, 27, 30. So the common denominator is 30. Okay? So now 10 goes into 33 times. I'm going to multiply 10 times 3 and 4 times 3. So that becomes 12 30th minus, and 3 goes into 30 10 times. So I'll multiply both of these by 10, so that would become 10 30th. Okay. Now notice, it is a little bit different than the previous question because 12 is indeed larger than 10. So I can just subtract. So this becomes 2 over 30, and then the 14 uh, I don't have to borrow one from the 14, so then I just have 14 minus 13, and that becomes 1 and 2 thirtieths. But I can simplify, so it will become 1, 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 30 15 times, so it becomes 1 and 1 fifteenths. Okay, so let me go back now to the First one, it's a little bit more challenging, not impossible, but more challenging. I'll show you. And uh, let's get started with this. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to rewrite it 16 and 3 ninths over 10 and 2 fifths. We're going to subtract. I'm going to start with the fraction. I need to find a common denominator. I'm going to start with 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. Okay, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I know that's the common denominator. Okay, 9 goes into 45. What is that? 5 times. So I multiply the uh, numerator and denominator by 5. And then 5 goes into 45 9 times. Okay. So now, let's see what we get. Uh, we have 3 times 5 is 15 over 45. And 9 times 2 is 18 over 45. Okay? So now we have a bit of a challenge. 15 is smaller than 18. So I'm going to rewrite this. We have 15 45 minus 18 45. And then we have a 16 and a 10. So I need to merely borrow one from the 16, which this becomes a 15. I take the denominator and write it over itself. And then I just add. 15 plus 45 is 60 over 45 minus uh, 18 over 45. Now... I just merely go 60 minus 18 is 42 over 45, and 15 minus 10 is 5. Now, can I do anything with 42 and 45? Well, let's see here. What will go into both of those? Okay, and 3 will go into 42 and 45. 3 goes into 42 14 times, and 3 goes into 15, excuse me, 45 15 times, so it becomes 5 and 14 15 Thanks for watching. I hope that helps with subtracting mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Mumu Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.